Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the PZL P11. The P11 was a Polish fighter aircraft designed and constructed during the early 1930s by Warsaw based aircraft manufacturer PZL. Possessing an all metal structure, metal covering, and high mounted gull wing, the type held the distinction of being widely considered to have briefly been the most advanced fighter aircraft of its kind in the world. The design of the P-11 commenced during the late 1920s, initially designated as the P-1. The primary individual responsible for its development was a Polish uh, aeronautical engineer, uh, Zygmunt uh, Polowski, who had been attributed as having designed many of its innovative features. While the majority of the world's air, uh, world's air forces were still using biplanes, the P-1 used a high-mounted an aerodynamically clean glow wing, which provided the pilot with a superior field of view during, during uh, September 1929. The first uh, prototype constructed its maiden flight. The design quickly drew international attention and the general layout became commonly known as the Polish wing or the Polowski wing. Uh, the P-11 served as Poland's primary fire, fighter defense throughout the 1930s, including during the Polish campaign of 1939 by neighboring Nazi Germany. However, as a consequence of rapid advances that had been in aircraft design during the late 1930s, um, such as fighters as the Messerschmitt BF-109, it, it was outclassed by its rivals at the onset of the war. The majority of Polish Air Force's P-11s were destroyed during 1939. However, it is believed that as many as 36 were flown to Romania and were subsequent taken over by the Roma Roma Romanian Air Force. Um, the P-11 was a uh, aircraft I didn't really know anything about. Um, it's one um, of well, those aircraft that you obviously don't hear about. You always hear about the BF-109s, the P-51 Mustangs, but you really don't hear about these other you know nations and their uh, aircraft for the time. Granted, this aircraft by the time World War II kind of rolled about was really ineffective and definitely was not as uh, you know good as it was. But uh, for one point, this aircraft briefly was probably one of the world's most advanced fighters, uh, which is very interesting, especially seeing it come from like the Polish, uh, you know, the Pol Poland and all that stuff. Uh, you really didn't see many uh, crazy good vehicles really come out of Poland during World War II. Um, anyways, it's a uh, really interesting looking aircraft and uh, overall really cool. Um, I guess very uh, distinct and different with its gold wing design, which you don't commonly see on too many World War II aircraft. Um, if any at all, really. Um, so, anyways, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Trenchfighter8 for making this video possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you guys can go ahead and pledge a small amount every month, a small amount every month, and uh, get a cool uh, vehicle request of your choice in response. Uh, it's much appreciated. It helps me out a lot with the channel, and uh, you know, if uh, it's always optional, but I really do appreciate those that donate. Uh, so feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. Anyways, go ahead and take a look at the PZL, uh, P-11. Fun fact, this is also our first ever Polish aircraft for World War II, so that's also really cool. I think actually our first Polish aircraft altogether, really, too. So, uh, really cool uh, to have a Polish aircraft, since we do have some Polish tanks and stuff, so now you can kind of have a early 1930s, or late 1930s kind of uh, uh, scenario and stuff like that with this fight against some BF-109s. Um, anyways, going ahead and getting started, we obviously we have the front engine up here, propeller-driven, uh, the fuselage that runs back here, you got fixed uh, wheels on the bottom and a fixed kind of stub here. It's not really a wheel on the back, it's just kind of like a little stub for the back landing um, gear. We then have the flaps on the back here, the tail, all that fun stuff, you know, the typical kind of uh, design there on the back. Uh, wings are pretty cool, we got the Polish uh, kind of Air Force symbol, the kind of a square with uh, basically four smaller squares in it, uh, two red, two white, um, so pretty simple there. And on the bottom of the wings you also have the uh, square as well, which is a little bit more hidden with the quartz on the bottom of the wings, but uh, works out nonetheless. And uh, you also have the cockpit here for the pilot. Um, and again, what's really cool about this is usually typically with biplanes, you have a, the top wing, which really hinders the field of view of the pilot. But the pilot is able to see all above him and, you know, be able to see around him and stuff like that a little bit better than they would uh, in a biplane, that's for sure. So. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much what the uh, PZL P11 is, and uh, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, yeah, so moving on to our first layer, we have layer 1. Since this aircraft does have fixed landing gear, we're going to have the wheels extended, obviously, uh, to go along with the uh, aircraft. 
Um, if you uh, are new to my tutorials, the way I like to search these tutorials, I do half on camera, half off. What this means is I'll do half the layer off camera and then half the layer on camera. And it's up to you guys to copy what we do and flip it over to the air side. Just speeds up the tutorial a little bit for myself, makes it a little bit easier. And this aircraft is perfectly symmetrical. So whatever you do on one side, you're going to do on the air side. So there's no point in really covering it twice. Um, to go ahead and begin with, we're going to be going ahead and getting our wheels set up here. Very important that we get these positioned correctly. Now note the uh, wheels here are going to be the very lowest point. So layer 1 is the lowest uh, point your aircraft is going to be at. So take that into account if you have any kind of high objects or anything like that. You don't want to interfere with it. Um, but other than that, we are good to go. So to start off with, we're going to have a space of 3 of blocks um, in between 2 wooden trap doors. So the wooden trap doors, note, are going to be on the top portion of the block, not on the bottom portion like that. You want to make sure they're on the top portion like so and you'll see that we have a space of three here outlined with some orange wool like so then come off the wooden trap doors to uh both sides we're gonna go ahead and place down a upside down another brick stair like this coming off of it followed by another brick upside down stair going back from it like that obviously the forever aircraft is going to be facing that direction and the rear is going to be that direction we can then remove any place or blocks we have and we can see here that we have basically the same thing here on both sides with a space of three uh, in between it and you get something that kind of looks like this so far for uh, the landing gear. With that all done, that's going to do it for layer one. Let's go ahead and move on to layer two. All right guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to begin with, we're gonna go ahead and place down two nether brick stairs back to back on top of these two nether brick ups down stairs for each of these to make the wheels. We then wanna go ahead and go to the inside on top of this wooden trap door here. We're gonna place down a mossy cobblestone wall and coming off the mossy cobblestone wall, we're gonna place down a dark oak fence post. Now going ahead and coming off the mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to place down one and two blocks over. Uh, you can go ahead and just kind of put a th row of three here if you really want you to visualize it a little bit better. But basically we have that row of three that's in between these mossy cobblestone walls. And obviously when you copy that side over, you'll have the same thing. We then want to place down two wooden trap doors coming off the middle uh, orange wool block. And of course the, the side here from mossy cobblestone walls is the front of the aircraft. So we're going to place them going down that way toward the front. Coming off this uh, orange wool block here, or whatever blocks you're using for placeholders, we're going to go ahead and uh, have to count back here to the rear. We're going to go ahead and count back from the middle one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight spaces back, where they're going to place down a iron trap door on the top portion of the block like that for the back here, which is where this little brace is going to come down from and connect to. We then can go ahead and delete all this, uh, all these orange wool blocks, these uh, markings, and you sh should have something that kind of looks like this. Very basic, and that's going to do it for layer two there. With that, let's move on to our next layer, layer three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. Layer three, we have a little bit more going on here as we're starting to get into the fuselage, so a little bit more is going to be happening. Anyways, to get started with this layer, what we want to do is we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab on top of this wooden trap door. This is in the very front of the aircraft again, so the dark oak wood slab on the very front wooden trap door. Going back from this uh, this uh, dark oak wood slab, we're going to place down a row of three of green stankway blocks. Followed by a dark oak wood up down stair coming off this uh, third green stankway block. Two dark oak wood top slabs coming off this dark oak wood stair. Two wooden trap doors. We're going to go ahead and go back to the iron trap door. Place down a, or yeah, an iron trap door. Sorry, my bad. We're going to place down an iron bar on top of it. And then coming off the iron bar toward the wooden trap doors, we're going to place down a up down stone brick stair like that for the back there. And that's going to be the center line of the aircraft. Moving out to the sides now, on both sides of this dark oak wood slab, we're going to place down a dark oak wood up down stair. We then want to place down a second dark oak wood stair that goes back, and we are also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden trap door, or sorry, a wooden sign, and we're going to place a wooden sign on the side of this dark oak wood uh, upside down stair. Going ahead and continuing on, we want to go ahead and place down a additional two dark oak wood stairs going back, so one and two upside down dark oak wood stairs, and a dark oak wood top side like that to finish it off. Um, coming off this uh, dark oak wood stair here, this is the third one back right after this wooden trap door. On top of the mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair. And then after that's done, coming off uh, the dark oak, this uh, dark oak wood top slab, my bad, we're going to place down a wooden dark oak wood fence post like that. So you have a bit of an angle here with this and uh, like that. And once you have that done and uh, copied over to the air side, you'll be pretty much done with layer three. With that, we can move on to our next layer, layer four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to begin with, we're going to place down a green stank plate block on top of the dark oak wood slab so that we have up here in the front just a green stank plate block on top of it. Going toward the front, we're going to place down an additional green stankway block, followed by a zombie head like that coming off of it to make the tip there. So that green stankway block sticks out one past the previous row right here, and uh, a uh, zombie head on the very end there. Now after this green stankway block here, we're going to place down three more. So in total, you're going to have a row of five here of green stankway. We then want to place down a dark oak wood slab. That's going to be on top of this dark oak wood upstairs that was right here. 
followed by a nether brick slab on top of this first dark oak with top, top slab here. Then we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four. Green snake bay blocks going back and upside down birchwood stair like so. Upside down dark oak wood stair coming off the front of the birchwood stair and a dark oak wood top slab coming off the front of the dark oak wood stair. After that is all done there, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab coming off the side here of the second green snake bay block going back. Fall by a row of one and two, dark oak wood upstairs downstairs going toward the front. We're then going to take green stained clay, place down a row of one, two, three, and four. Green stained clay blocks toward the front. Uh, up here in the front, we're going to take a wooden trap door, place down a wooden trap door on top of this dark oak wood upstairs downstairs and open it up to the side like so. It's going to be the same thing like that on both sides there. And on the side here uh, of the wooden trap door on the back of it, whatever you want to refer to it as, we're going to place down a sign on the, on the uh, back of it. We're then going to place down another wooden trap door that goes back from it on this, to the side of this green stankway block, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to skip a space and then place down another mossy cobblestone wall like so. And then after the mossy cobblestone wall, uh, come off the side of this dark oak, or the front of the dark oak, which stay we're going to place down a zombie head like that. And after that's all done there, that is going to pretty much do it for layer four. And with that, we can move on to layer number five. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer, we're going to be moving on to layer number 5. For layer 5, we're going to start off by placing down a dark oak wood top slab on top of this second green snake plate block that's in that row 5 from the previous layer. Once that's done, going back from this dark oak wood top slab, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, and 4 green snake plate blocks. We're going to go ahead and skip a space over this narrow brick slab, place down another green snake plate block over here right after it, followed by 1, 2, and 3 more green snake plate blocks, giving you a row 4 of green snake clay. On top of this birch wood stair here, we're going to place down a yellow wool block, followed by two green snake wood blocks back, and a dark oak wood upstone stair on the back here. When that's all done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz slabs. We're going to place down one, two, and three, and actually, sorry, my bad, four quartz top slabs out to the both sides of this green snake wood block, this last one here on the back. We then want to place down a zombie head coming off this quartz top slab right here, um, like this on the inside, and then we're going to place down two spruce wood uh, slabs out to the sides like that for the back tail here. Uh, and the rudder and the uh, elevators and all that fun stuff. When that's all done, we're going to go back up to the front of the aircraft. We're going to go ahead and go on top of this wooden trap door. We're going to place down a dark oak wood stair. That's going to be the same thing there on both sides. We then want to place down a dark oak wood corner stair that goes back from this stair right here, followed by a sign coming off the side of the corner stair. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three dark oak wood stairs back, followed by a dark oak wood corner stair. We then want to place down a green stank plate block. Fall by a row of what is going to be one, two, and three mossy cobblestone walls uh, back like that. After that's all done there, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron trap doors. We're going to place down a row of three of iron trap doors coming off these three regular dark oak wood stairs here. And then coming off the uh, first iron trap door here and the uh, third one back here, we're going to place down mossy cobblestone walls out to both sides for the supports here for the gold wings, which we're going to get into uh, in the next layer. Anyways, once that's all complete, that is going to do it for layer number five. With that, let's move on to layer number six. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go and place down a wooden trap door on top of this dark oak wood top slab here in the front, followed by a second wooden trap, trap door back. We're going to then go and place down a green carpet, followed by a light gray stained glass pane, a light gray stained glass full block. We then want to go ahead and go to the uh, green stained clay block from the previous row, place down a green stained clay block on top of it, followed by a dark or a black banner coming off the side here of this green stink wood block to make the back seat there for the pilot. After this green stink wood block, we're going to place down a second one back, followed by two dark oak wood slabs, a wooden trap door on top of this yellow wood block, a green stink wood block, and then two, or sorry, one spruce wood plank and a spruce wood stair that go back like this. On both sides of this green stink wood block for the tail, we're going to place down a uh, stone button and also on top of these four uh, quartz top slabs, we're going to place down green carpet. Uh, going back up here to the uh, kind of mid front section, we're going to place down a row of what is going to be one, two, and three dark oak wood slabs on top of those three dark oak wood stairs that the wooden or the iron trap doors coming off of them. Once that's done, we're going to go and start off by placing down a dark oak wood stair like this, followed by a second one, and then a corner stair coming off of those like so. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz uh, slabs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three of quartz top slabs across. We then want to grab ourselves some quartz stairs. We're going to place down a quartz upside down stair like this and one right here and then a quartz top slab in the middle in between them. After that, we're going to place down two quartz top slabs coming off the front two, the quartz stair and the quartz top slab like that in the middle. Um, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves zombie heads and we're going to place down a zombie head coming off this top slab like so. We're going to do another one of these rows here, so two quartz top slabs and a zombie head like that. Uh, once we get that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz, we're going to place down a brick top slab up here 
and a quartz top slab down like this. We're gonna do kind of a, something very similar, quartz top slab and a brick slab like that. So kind of reversing it. And you wanna make sure that both wings are kind of structured the same way. So over here, you're gonna start off with a quartz top slab, brick top slab, and then brick top slab, quartz top slab. So you wanna make sure that they're kind of angled the same way, same direction. You don't want them kind of inverse or anything like that. Uh, once that's done there, we're gonna place down a narrow row of two of quartz top slabs, followed by one quartz top slab that comes out to the side and a zombie head that comes off of it, just like that. And uh, once that's all done there, we do have one last thing we're gonna do. We're gonna go, and go into this section right here. Uh, coming off on top of this green snake wheel block, we're gonna place down a zombie head, followed by a second one on top of this first mossy cobblestone wall. On the second mossy cobblestone back, we're gonna place down another zombie head. This one that, that was gonna be at a slight angle, so something kind of like that. Uh, once that's all done there, that is going to do it for layer uh, six. With that, we'll move on to our last final layers, which are basically going to be layers seven and eight. So with that, let's move on to our last final layers. All right, go ahead and move on to our last final layers. We have layers seven through eight. To begin with these layers, um, I want to go ahead and put the props on the uh, aircraft real quick. So for these, very simply, we're going to place down a uh, basically a nether brick slab that kind of comes off this green stainquip block at an angle and a nether brick top slab after it. And we're going to go and just go and do kind of the same thing, but going down this way. So top slab and then a uh, half slab that kind of goes down like this. So uh, let me delete these blocks here so you can get a better view of it. But yeah, very simple uh, kind of props there. It just kind of goes like a little staircase going across there like so. And that's the props. Anyways, moving on to our uh, last final layers. We have layers seven and eight. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and go to these brick uh, top slabs. We're going to place down some red carpet on top of them. We then want to go ahead and go to the quartz kind of uh, top slabs here uh, right next to them. We're going to place down white carpet um, on top of the two like that. So you create like a little square here, kind of a checkered pattern type design. We then want to take green carpet and on all the rest of these quartz top slabs on the very tops of them, upside down stairs, we're going to place down green carpet to give the wing a green um, color from looking at it from above uh, or mostly green color. So you get something that looks just like that and that's what you want to have. Uh, when that's all done, we're going to go ahead and place down a wooden trap door on top of this first green stain clip block here, right behind the cockpit. Going back more, we're going to go, ahead and go to the tail. For this, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank in the middle here, followed by a spruce wood slab on top of it. On both sides of the spruce wood plank, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall like that for the tail there. Once that's all done, that is going to pretty much do it for the PZL P11 uh, Polish fighter aircraft. Hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and are able to put, put it to good use. As I mentioned, it's our first ever Polish aircraft of World War II, so uh, kind of a landmark, I guess, accomplishment for that, but also uh, can be really used in some of the scenarios we have, some of the Polish tanks and German tanks and stuff like that we've made, where you can make some cool Polish offensive or Polish uh, defensive, I should say. Uh, kind of campaign uh, scenarios and all that stuff. So, hope you guys are able to put it to good use. Again, a special thanks to Patreon supporter Trenchfighter8, and feel free again to check out my Patreon page if you are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do. Um, other than that, uh, if you guys do have using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being from the side of the build, tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of tutorials. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Other than that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett24, and I'll see you guys next time.